in this video I'm gonna be talking about how I got a 5 in my AP Calculus BC exam now there are some points I wrote down on a piece of paper and I just like to discuss them with you now mainly the points were that um, AP Calculus BC is supposedly very tough I mean people think it's really tough but actually AP Cal BC is yes easier than AB and if not easier I, I really don't find any difference I mean even though I have not given the AB exam I don't think it's uh, it's actually as easy as calculus BC I mean even with not not with a lot of practice I did pretty well and I got a 5 in my AP calculus BC exam so basically it, it, it's not that difficult now my next point was um, uh, like how did I prepare for it now let's just discuss that for once all right so I'll use another color for this so preparations now first of all I am I, I'm really fond of watching uh, videos on courses and from Coursera or edX and I'm not advertising for those companies it's just that those courses are so exciting and it's it's really nice to see some videos from there and so basically just before the AP calculus exam there was the course by Ohio State University and it was the course was calculus one I suppose yes and it did it taught us about uh, differentiation and integration and the course the videos were by Jim Fowler and he is also there on YouTube so you can actually check out his videos and those videos are just amazing and they cleared my concepts about differentiation and integration and so basically differentiation and integration are the only things that actually matter and so basically I took uh, OSU's calculus one which really helped me a lot and it was key to my success I guess okay and let's just talk about the other point I'm gonna choose a different color for this all right so um, my next point was uh, yeah I, cho I chose a Barron's book and now you can find the Barron's book on AP Calculus BC and when I used that it really helped me I mean it, it was the key and also uh, because uh, actually I saw the Barron's book from my friend and used it a couple of times but mainly I also used the Kaplan book now Kaplan is not really known I mean f uh, for APs that well but I used it and it was actually pretty helpful so I recommend using the Kaplan book because it really helped me in differentiation and integration I wouldn't really recommend it for sequencing series and I'll just come to that point and that's a very important point all right so oh okay I should have kept preparations over there no problem all right so my next point is that you shouldn't really if you don't have much time there's no need to focus more on sequen sequences and series because I when I gave the exam I didn't really find much importance being given to that topic so I'd not really recommend you spending a lot of time if you're if you don't have much time that is that don't give much time on sequence and series and like make solid your concepts on integration and differentiation and uh, I am actually a procrastinator so at the end I, I had like uh, I had last two days and in two days I had to finish sequence and series which is uh, I, I guess uh, it's a semester course in college and I did finish it but it was not that well prepared as I had prepared integration and differentiation so I gave a lot of importance to integration and differentiation and I think they are really important and it's it's really important that you practice practice and enjoy practicing it you can buy the uh, Princeton reviews book uh, the one with AP calculus BC 550 questions one 
because that trip that book really helped me a lot so whenever i had free time i just used to take the book and just start solving some questions and they actually really helped me to get the concepts and say similar questions were tested in the exam so basically uh, i guess they gave me like 30 to 40 percent of my actual score and also the last questions which are free response questions well free response basically tests your knowledge so you do need to know the concept and you do not mug up calculus this is i guess a mistake many people make but do not mug because uh, that that is a mistake and if you do that uh, you're going to be in a lot of trouble try to understand it from those courses which i just recommended from ohio state university calculus one or any other courses you like because i think this course helped me a lot in my preparation and i'm really thankful to um, Jim, professor dr jim fowler because i mean his videos are just wonderful all right and then do the usual basic questions like the questions i mean the practice questions yeah so basically just practice the questions and then yeah i guess i mean that's it i mean it's not that hard to get a five it's very easy to get a five i was i mean when i was going to check my score i was actually expecting a four or something because um believe it or not i was actually thinking that there would be negative marking and so i had left some questions in the beginning i guess four to five questions which i knew the answer to i was just confused between two options so basically thankfully there was no negative marking but then i did skip some questions so i thought okay okay five is uh, not a possibility now let's hope for a four but fortunately i got a five and i got an ab sub score of five so basically just i mean ab sub score of five and basically mm, don't be so tense before the exam although i was tense because i mean it, it it was a pretty important exam for me because i'll be applying to u.s colleges and but try to keep calm before the exam and i love math and i love math so just try to think of, about the practice you have done and the videos you've seen and the books you've read and yeah hopefully that'll build up your confidence and that'll help you get a five all right see ya